Buck and I'm Bruno, and welcome to It's Bruno's World. Hey, Explorers. How's everyone doing? Hopefully, everyone's doing great. Today, day number eight of Bruno's 100 Days of Disney, and we are here at the Boardwalk, and we are going to show you a little bit around and probably go ahead and take a trip into the England Pavilion at Epcot. So, let's go. Which way do you want to go? To the basketball game. Is it open? No. Nope. Which way do you want to go? On to the so you can rent these uh, carts, and uh, it's uh, called the Surrey Bike. They are a twenty-five dollars for a half an hour. Is that that on that? And this is the. Uh, merchandise location for the Boardwalk Resort. It's called Screen Door General Store. So just to give you an idea, this is the dance hall. This is the Yacht and Beach Clubs, all the way across there. ESPN, and then Boardwalk. And we're gonna walk all the way around. So you get an idea of what it looks like. So this is called Thimbles and Threads. Of course, it would be a clothing store here at the Boardwalk. And we have Big River Grill and Brewing Works. Let's take a look and see what they have. It's a place that has the dueling pianos. Um, haven't been here before. If anyone has been here before, go ahead and leave a, a comment below. Tell me all about it. Tell me how it was. Um, also, we have the Atlantic Dance Hall. Now, this one says they have a $3.50 draft beer. Sounds like a plan. From the boardwalk, you can go to these two. This one is called the Dolphin. Believe it or not, this is a dolphin. And I always thought that this was the ugliest dolphin ever. And I was like, this looks nothing like a dolphin. But what it is, is if you look it up and you can Google it, it's called the Dolphin Fish. So that's why this one's called the dolphin. That one, of course, would be called the swan. So this is the swan and dolphin resort. The there it is. So if you look right here, you'll see Spaceship Earth, which is Epcot. Epcot is just beyond. We come here a lot to run around the boardwalk. It is an actual running trail that's here at Disney. Disney, a lot of Disney resorts have running trails that you can run on. Even if you're not staying on the res at that resort, you can still run on their course. So uh, I've never had a problem with them saying I couldn't run on it. So when I and we use this one a lot because it's lots it's lots of stuff to see. So Bruno's very much into running because he's been here quite a few times when we run. We used to run him around here with a jogging stroller. This is kind of a new thing that they've been doing with a lot of the resorts now. They all have these little runs that you can do. And uh, it costs about $15 uh, and you get to run. They have, a, this one's called the Regatta Run, of course, because this is the Yacht Club. So, but it's pretty neat. They eat, they're pretty short runs, so even little kids can participate. What you doing? Riding boat. It's gonna get very far. This boat is, uh, yeah. Here's the prices. So if the little sea racer one by the Sea Ray, those are thirty-two dollars thirty minutes, or forty-five dollars for an hour. But that's only a maximum of two guests. Now they also have these boats that you can rent. You can rent a fishing boat. And check out this water slide. It looks like a sunken ship, and then the slide goes across the walkway, and then down there into the pool. And this is the what they call the back entrance to Epcot. It's called the International Gateway. Now this place is going to be, if you look over here to the left, you'll see that the gondolas drop you off right here. Now, so much for the secret. So, used to be this very quiet way to get into Epcot if there was a big crowd at the front gate. But with the gondolas, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a lot more crowded. So if you look back here, behind France Pavilion. This is going to be where the new Remy's ride is. It's supposed to be opening pretty soon too. It looks like they're coming along quite nicely. There's the gondolas. I'm gonna take you up, over, bring you down right here, right next to the gate. 
and this is going to be the entrance to get on the Skyliner. As you can see, there are cast members that are getting a preview of the Skyliner. So then when you enter Epcot, you're going to come out to between the England Pavilion and the France Pavilion right over there. We're going to go into a tea shop. Let's check it out. Looks like you have lots and lots of teas to pick from. What is this? Introducing the latest innovation available now. What is this? Water enhancer. I've never seen that before, so I'm very, very interested in it too. Bye, Pooh. Bye, Pooh. So let's take a look around and see what else is here. So we went in there and we saw Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. And uh, let's go in this way. It's called the Crown's Crest. The Crown and Crest. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Let's take a look. Look at that. The Beatles. Look at this chair, this lunchbox. It's like the yellow submarine. $14.95. That's not too bad. You even got a thermos little sports bottle. Also, let's see, there it is. $20. He even got David Bowie. It's hard to see that. Let's see. There we go. He does. Look at that. Nice. You can even buy your own night for $125. Look at this room. They even have the thing where you can get your own family crest made. Look at that one. It's a soccer ball stick. <laughs> Look at this. That one's cool. This one's really neat. Look at the logo on this one. That's really neat. I like that one. Epcot World Showcase Soccer Ball. That's really neat. I like that one. That one's $20. So it's not too bad. A real good soccer ball would be about that much anyway. In, in England, you do have a couple of food options. You have the Rose and Crown here. This is a very good place to have uh, dinner right around the time the fireworks happen. So if you are here at Epcot, they have this uh, eating area over here to the side where you eat outside. Ask for one of the tables outside and you can watch the fireworks. So uh, this is all the Rose and Crown. Now your other option is if you uh, just want something quick, it's called the Fish and Chips. So this is going to be the quick serve place. They have fish and chips. Here we go. Here is the prices of the fish and chips. We have spotted a celebrity. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is the goof. It's goofy. So they do this every once in a while. If you come by the International Gateway, they will have a character that is just all of a sudden there. Hi. Do you want to say hi? No? <laughs> have a good day. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Maleficent. Now 
out of Epcot going back toward the Boardwalk Resort, we have the ESPN Sports Bar. They play games, uh, they play out here in front sometimes like for the Super Bowl and such. They'll actually have big TV set up here because there's so many people trying to get into this place. Then uh, we have the Ample Hills Creamery. It's got ice cream. The trick is if you also, if you come through here, just to let you know, there is a little bit of a surprise because it always smells like treats over here. Because right next door is the bakery. And then here we have pizza. Always, always smells good right here as well. And we have this Taturia al Forno, which is very fancy. And then the Abracadabra Bar. And believe it or not, we are back. We're back at the resort. Well, folks, that effectively is going to end day eight of Bruno's 100 Days of Disney. And it was nice, a nice quiet walk around the boardwalk. Nothing too drastic, nothing too exciting, which is also a good thing. It shows you that there are things you can do at Disney that don't involve the parks necessarily, but are a nice, quiet thing to do. We're going to have a few more of those coming up. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And uh, to see all the other places that we've done so far, go ahead and check out the links below to all the other videos for the Bruno's 100 Days of Disney. And uh, just like that, we are done and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.